Okay, we're hoping for a lucky pull, and here we go. 82 center back with an aggression boost. This is a, not a bad one, but not exactly what we have been waiting for. Let's see. So I have already got, I think, I don't know, maybe five uh, of these treasure hunt players. The price, uh, you can find, uh, you can just snipe a lot of them uh, for below 200k. So it's a decent opportunity for doing SBCs as well. And uh, another thing is that, if you guys have noticed, there are some achievements uh, for you will get a new treasure and logo and all for having okay for having what uh, this uh, full uh, squad uh, full 11 of uh, this treasure hunt players if you got them you'll get a new cool looking logo and uh, again uh, there are some achievements and all one would be if you have that uh, zad does uh, 88 or uh, right forward card if you have if you put him in your lineup then that would give you like a uh, 50 doubloons that's uh, very nice. Um, that is uh, probably the reason why he's uh, like, I don't know, he's uh, cost more than 4 million uh, in my market. Must be the same everywhere, I think. And guys, about using this uh, travel to X thing, you'll find uh, okay, this one, you can see it's very near. I just need to move it a couple of times. I'm using it uh, when I get, uh, when the X is like around 14 uh, moves from me because I'm not getting a very good drop rate of those. Uh, so I wouldn't waste it for even a 10, uh, 10 or an 11 or something. I wouldn't waste it because it's, uh, there are, there's possible of, uh, there's a possibility of getting a lot more, uh, so I think it's possible to get like 19 uh, moments. Like if it's, uh, we are in this corner, if it's in the exact opposite corner, then it should be like a 19 moments. So we should save those for uh, more moments. Don't just uh, waste it straight away. He, say if you're, out of uh, normal points and on your goal you got that one left then be patient uh, play the repeated events wait for the next uh, reset and again then if you're out of those uh, course points if you're got and got normal points and you go uh, you find one where it is like a 15 points or something away then don't uh, spend your points. Wait, don't just don't spend your sale points. Wait, uh, play the next reset. Uh, try to get another chart. Guys, this is a 28 day event. Uh, this is not something with one or two days. It's a 28 day event. So we can uh, be a bit patient. Patience always helps and so far uh, from my calculations this event is absolutely amazing uh, for the free to play and for the pay to play and everybody because this event gives amazing rewards and it requires very less um, time as well. I mean prestige gave uh, very good rewards but that was endless hours of uh, playing versus attack uh, that was like a uh, very difficult grinding this one is a uh, very easy just play the uh, repeated uh, repeated games and all just play it and then uh, move the ship uh, navigate the ship when you get time when you're free he will not get any this time either. Last two times, two, three times, we got actually players. I already had my friends and league mates and all pull uh, multiple masters from these. 
and those who have played last season and did those uh, treasure chest thing last season pre-season they would uh, have got like three treasure chests uh, that contains a lot of these uh, sale points charts and doubloons and everything hundreds of these uh, points and doubloons so if you had that then that would be like a very nice progress as well wow this is very nice like uh, this time again it's just i just have to move it two times one two moments before i had to use the chart because it was like 14 points away from me it's about and uh, about the points uh, we can get in uh, we can get plenty of uh, doubloons uh, seems that way and seems like almost every player is obtainable or uh, free to play the only one in uh, with a bit of doubt is that 98 sterling up to 97 alexis uh, we are sure like anybody is uh, obtainable i'm with my calculations i believe that even that 96 sun and 97 alexis are obtainable uh, even the whole uh, of uh, treasure map one and two should be uh, obtainable but guys i would suggest uh, to wait wait a bit if you guys are no, if you guys are not sure which one you exactly want then wait uh, just like we did for the previous ones okay no player again for us so wait and see how much points you and how much doubloons you end up with and according to that you can actually uh, choose which uh, path you want to go through or if you are already sure like uh, which map uh, is that that you really want then you can go ahead uh, already for me i want treasure map 2 guys this is one i've been talking about okay let's look how many we need one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We need 15 points to reach there. So, this is when it is ideal to use this uh, chart. If you don't have the chart, then uh, keep playing the repeatable events and all and wait till you get a chart because wasting 15 points uh, doesn't seem much uh, smart. We uh, use X, travel X, and we reach there. Okay, I'm not going to do uh, any more of this at the moment. Uh, I'll just open this one and then I'll go straight ahead to the different maps. If you guys are already sure uh, which one you want, you can just go ahead for me. I've decided uh, Trash Map 2 because uh, I'm good in the market. So making coins is uh, not a big deal for me and uh, Map 1 is uh, almost full of coins. We got another 81. Not bad, uh, but there's a duplicate. Uh, if I get a different ones, that would help in my uh, getting that full uh, 11. Completing uh, both treasure map 1 and 2 combined should be easy for uh, free to play. Guys, again, like I said, I won't wait because uh, this is uh, it's a few million coins. Uh, I think around 9 million or something. Uh, I don't exactly remember the calculations. This treasure map 2, it gives 7.1 million XP and that's where, that's what I really want. Uh, because I got the coins, uh, I got uh, some players and all, I got skill boosts, uh, mostly about 14. So again, uh, it's very difficult to improve the skill boost for me. So what I really, really need is XP and there's plenty of XP in here and by doing this you could get two of these players and uh, man these players look amazing and there's a 95 cam guy so if you're a bit low overall and all then this guy could be really amazing I would say easier to take 200 than an elite or something because he already comes as 95 you can see he has a counter boost which is probably the best boost for a midfielder 
so uh, long shot and everything uh, boosted it's very nice uh, seven seas captain and the one that i am much more in track uh, in trusted in is this one anatovic and he has second strike and boost plays of west ham united in the premier league that card uh, card art looks amazing and stats uh, looks perfect with the perfect boost and i've been looking for a striker like this uh, to replace that gabriel jesus so i'm gonna do this one because this is just perfect for me it has got the xp and it has got the striker with the second striker boost with a high base overall so that i can is it would be easier for me to take him to 100 overall i would just boost that uh, use that jesus i already have as xp and guys look at some of these players they have the best possible uh, skill boost available shooting boost doesn't make him any smooths but if you're using a formation like a 352 then your uh, left mid would get chances for a lot of uh, scoring he would be your primary scorer in a 352 and there you need finishing short power long shot it's those three matters the most because it's all about uh, finishing and this guy could well be already uh, all the left mid sun cards are insane when it comes shooting and this could well be simply the best left mid card in the game so far looks unbelievably awesome and again uh, you can see some of those other cards telling or uh, the dribbling boost which boosts uh, finishing dribbling and long shot again nice one but again uh the sun that's uh far more interesting and left wing sanchez with a short power boost again the boost uh, that earlier only strikers used to get uh where finishing and long sh finishing and short power are boosted acceleration as well Again, some very nice cards with very interesting skill boosts with the present calculations of doubloons and all it is uh, believed that free to play could get both sanchez and sun or do the first two treasure maps and guys there are uh, tons of uh, training uh, tons of skill boosts here as well one map again just like i uh, shared my info tactics and all in the team of season i told everybody to wait and those who waited would know that at the end it was so much more beneficial to wait and then take the decision than to hurry so waiting would be very nice uh, so that you can know exactly maybe wait for a couple of weeks three weeks then you can see where you are how many doubloons you have where you end up with and then you can go for the rewards it's uh, it won't even take much time uh, claiming these offers because it's like a 300 300 and also guys uh, wait always uh, try your best to play all the resets of course uh, real life takes precedence and sometimes we may miss some that's fine but whenever it's possible uh, do all these resets all these matches every reset and get the points and when you get free time move this uh, navigation uh, chase the treasure or whatever you call it use the this uh, charter course if the x is at least 12 away from you preferably 14 plus otherwise uh, keep moving it have some patience and Get the best rewards out of this because i want to show uh, so one other thing i had a very crazy uh, lucky master pull today i was playing the scouting event uh, just before this um, treasure hunt was out uh, since we had to uh, play some skill games to get the daily activities rewards 
I was just playing it and I ended up with five points and just for fun I went and opened the scouting pack the five point scouting pack I didn't I had done that hundreds of times earlier I never got anything good I was never even getting an elite from those and today I just opened off video normally I always make a video of these things Today I made it off video because I was not at all hopeful of getting anything good and this guy popped up. Uh, the scouting master uh, Marcos Asensio, Marcos Asensio, that's, uh, I mean I was very happy to see him. Of course at this point I have other cams and all but he is again worth uh, I don't know 379k XP I think so that's and he's a 90 base player for rank ups and also I'm very happy with that one. Okay, and guys, I think I will tell you the exact numbers. Treasure map one is very easy. The 92 Pellegrini, uh, he needs like 265 uh, doubloons. And we get the 92 Pellegrini and uh, 2.65 million coins. And if you choose the 93 uh, Jose Callejon, then you need like 690 doubloons and he gives uh, 7.15 million coins and if you choose to complete the whole treasure map one then what you need is uh, say 840 doubloons and 840 doubloons and you will get these two players 92 Pellegrini 93 Callejon and 8.64 million coins. Uh, one of my league mates uh, already using the Pellegrini in a 3511. His, uh, the card that is very nice and his performance in game is very good, my friend told me. Like uh, very good long shots and he's very smooth as well. He has a generalist boost, which is good for the midfielder. I mean, a central midfielder. This Pellegrini and this uh, Callejon. So that's very easy actually. 840 doubloons only. For the next one, the one I really want in a tweak. Uh, for him, you need 1375 doubloons. You will get this amazing striker with the second striker boost, and you will get 3.1 uh, million training XP as well. And if you go for that uh, Mickey, Mickey Italian, you need 2450 uh, 2, doubloons. And he gives 5.8 million training XP as well. To get them combined, you need 2975 doubloons. And they give these two amazing cards and 7.1 million training XP. So that's uh, something I'm looking forward to. Um, this it's easy for free to play to get these I believe you need a uh, given you are ready to spend 500 FIFA points that we can get by saving up of course 500 FIFA points you are willing to spend then we can use that to unlock this second map then uh, do these for the treasure tree the that's where the bigger ones are there the 96 Sun needs uh, 1825 points and he gives 7300 skill boost as well the Sanchez uh, the left wing Sanchez needs 2725 doubloons and gives uh, 10,900 skill boost and the sterling alone uh, takes 4675 doubloons getting sun and Sanchez together would uh, require like 33,550 doubloons Again, uh, very much possible to get Sun and Sanchez together if uh, the draw rate is a bit good. Otherwise, any of uh, Sanchez or uh, Sun at least is 100% uh, certain. For me, I'll go for the XP. That's what I need. If you guys need skill boost more, then go for the Trash Map 3. If you guys need uh, coins more, then Trash Map 1. XP uh, that's what I need maximum and I want really want that striker so I'm gonna go with trash map uh, 2 and guys the market has been affected a lot uh, by this uh, new event uh, the prices have gone up a lot for the normal base uh, high base elites and all 
for the national heroes as well that for the higher rated national heroes their price has gone up a lot and for these uh, new players Russian players you can easily snipe them all uh, at a low price and gas is a uh, sad does he's comes for one point even one million and even for four or five million he is a uh, coin uh, he's a uh, a well, very nice card, a right forward card, and he's uh, probably this costly mostly because having him in your lineup enables an achievement which gives you like 50 doubloons. You can see the normal elites going because everybody got a free elite that you have to remember. You can see even 100k, 100 and up. below 200k, there are lots of them going. I wouldn't sell any at the moment, to be frank. I would. Uh, wait probably i think they will get sold uh, they've been here for some time i think don't they have to buy okay okay i'm able to buy at 1.6 that's actually very nice if you guys got any sbc's left then uh you can pick up a few players this way if you guys remember uh my previous um say previous videos where i bought some uh, masters and all for a uh, cheaper rate and selling all of them at the moment mainly because uh, the price of these players are so low but the price of other players went up a lot thanks to these players so guys it's time to sell in the market at least for me the prices may further go up but i'm not waiting i'm selling them off and i'll be investing in uh, these players next Gas is rushing and that's it for now. Tomorrow I'll be back with a brand new video which would contain a lot of uh, market stuff, selling players and all. Bye-bye. See you later.